up, you guys? What is up? Okay, first of all, let me just get this out the way before I even go any further with this video. I'm hoping and praying that this wig goes well. The wig prior to this, the video prior to this, it just seems like I just fell all apart, okay? Let me just start with why. So I, I put the new ones on that I purchased because I felt like I wanted to continue being glamorous and diva-like and fancy. And these things are hell to get used to. How do you expect anyone to do anything with nails this long and they're probably not even long to you guys but to me this is long i just want to pop them off right now but i just put the crazy glue on we're just going to get through this so knee fly on wigs i've worked with them this is the second video that i've done with them and the first one was really nice the color of the unit was really pretty it was like this blondish color and i love blonde wigs i have to wear like a certain kind of blonde but it had like these highlights in it which kind of like really brought a girl out like girl is looking cute This is the second time that I've worked with them, and this time around, I got a wig that is a more reddish amber color, ombre, auburn, auburn color, right. And yeah, so we're just going to get into how your wig comes, so that way you know what to expect when it arrives. When you receive your unit from Nightfly on Wigs, you will receive it in their standard blue box. Your beauty, your style. Visit nightflyonwigs.com for different type of lace front wigs as well as full lace. You'll also receive, along with your unit, their thank you card, which will state their policies and how to maintain your wig. There will also be a two cap pack of wig caps so that you can protect your hair while wearing and styling your unit. Fly on Wigs will also provide a pair of their gorgeous lashes, which will be showcased in this fuchsia pink box. Along with that, you'll also receive one of their signature tote bags, which will also advertise their website, Your Beauty and Your Style. You can also store your wig in this bag. Teflon wigs will also provide some hair clips which are really great for when styling and cutting your lace or your hair. Along with that, a black elastic band and an extra set of combs and an adjustable wig band which you can remove if you choose to. The unit that they sent me is a gorgeous color in a number 4. This unit is 20 inches in length and it is a 13 by 6 lace frontal. The hair texture is body wave with a 150% density and it's also virgin human hair. The unit does state that it has baby hairs around the front perimeter and also a pre-plucked natural hairline. If you'd like to save on any type of discount, use the code APRIL20 and I'll also post that down below. The hairline has been thinned out for you, but sometimes you may want to customize it to your life. The ends of the unit look really healthy and a nice even cut. Make sure you visit Knife Lion Wigs. Follow them on their WhatsApp, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. I'll post all of their information below where you can check out all of their latest styles available from lace front wigs to full lace. So I did go ahead and I tried to bleach the knots of this unit. Please don't ask me why because I just try. It doesn't hurt to try. And of course they only lifted a tad bit but they were not that bad to begin with. I pre-plucked her and then I styled her and here she is today. So we're gonna just get into this video. We'll see how it goes. 
All right, you guys, so this is what the inside of the cap looks like. It does have the combs. It's a 13 by six. There is an adjustable strap in the nape. Along with that, there is the removable black elastic band, which you can also adjust if you choose to. So I actually put this wig on so tight. Like it was not meant to be this tight. As you guys can see, I'm kind of like struggling with it. I mean, at this rate, you won't even need to adhere it down because it's so tight. But anyway, I'm gonna definitely loosen it up. But first I wanna see if I have it on properly and where these elastic bands that they have sewn in are positioned. So first I'm gonna just go ahead and cut the lace because I do know that once I have cut the lace, the wig will not be so tight. It's just the lace that was around my forehead that was snugging a girl's hair line girl so if you're wondering why do i have the band-aid on then you'll definitely want to check out the video prior to this one because i had a time on camera with my eyebrow trimmer I'm not really sure how that happened when i took the cap off i decided to cut my own self so yeah deleting in all on camera but anyway so i'm just gonna take these small curved scissors because i'm not really messing around with that eyebrow trimmer too much for cutting the lace it's just too much of a hassle you really definitely have to get used to it and i'm not about to just go through too much so as far as the hairline like i said i bleached the unit and all but you know you can't bleach it because it's already been dyed and just messing with these clips like not clips excuse me with that black elastic band that they sewn in for you do you see where it's positioned at it doesn't give you any room to put it where it needs to go which is basically um past your ear so I did have an issue with the elastic as you guys see right here and what I ended up doing was I was really trying not to cut it out but I had to cut the entire elastic out and then there was this which was that like wire like ear tab that will keep your wig down so they had that underneath the black elastic band removable one and I then had to cut around it and then kind of like wiggle it back and forth to break the wire inside of it. And on this side, I just had to press real hard and cut it, you know? So I didn't think like you needed all those. I don't really like where they were positioned at all. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, make me some sideburn hairs and baby hairs. Now for one, like I said, I really wish that the lace was lighter because this lace is a good color, but it's not good for my skin complexion. It's kind of too, it's definitely too dark for me. I think they should have just used like a transparent lace or like a light brown. And I'm not really sure if this is light brown, but it doesn't go with my skin complexion at all. You know, I think this would be good for someone that had a skin complexion of that color. So I'm just gonna work around it. I'm gonna just go ahead and blow dry down this unit. I did spray the um, spray on the outside and on the inside because I wanted it to stick. I'm not really sure why, but I did. And you see, I'm using the bedhead. Honestly, you guys, bedhead and the got to be glam force that I use, they are really, really similar for real. Like, I, I'm not even gonna front. A lot of people think, well, you know what? A lot of people don't use the glamour, the glam force by got to be. They use the freeze blast and the yellow can. I, for one, don't like that one anyway because it doesn't hold for anything at all. I was trying to be a clean mouth and not a potty mouth. So that's why I said it. But I really don't think it holds down. So, you know, but the Glam Force one, it works just the same as the bedhead. So I really couldn't tell you like if there's any difference. It's just body chemistry. But yeah, for the freeze blast, I don't think the freeze blast is worth it at all. So as you guys see, I'm just gonna go ahead and blow dry this down, you know, and work it out to the best of my ability. I love this color. This color is gorgeous, hunties. Very pretty, okay? And now I'm gonna take these darn, this, this this pair, this this eyebrow trimmer, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut the baby hairs down. This is the killer eyebrow trimmer. Yeah, this is the one that cut me. That's the reason why I'm wearing the Band-Aid because of the video prior to this. I'm just gonna take my styling mousse and brush it all in the front of the hairline and brush those baby hairs that I cut back, cut. I'm gonna brush them back. You know, I don't really need them all, but listen, I got to figure out how to get this lace lighter. I really didn't wanna put makeup on it. So 
So as you guys see, it came back and I'm still not really that happy with the baby hairs, but it's just gonna have to work for right now. And the pressed powder that I'm using, the pressed powder that I'm using by Estee Lauder was not the right color. So I'm gonna switch it up with my MAC pressed powder later on in this video. So this is it for the fly on wigs. Now, first of all, let me tell you guys, these little straps, um, these little black elastic band straps, those things, sometimes they be sewn in the wrong places and girl, you have to remove them. So it was definitely sewn in the wrong place. I couldn't even like fix the wig properly and then when I took it off it was one of those other metal things that's inside it's like you don't need both of those so then I had to keep bending it to cut that out because that was in the way like I don't want all of that please don't just please don't now I love the color of this wig I forgot to tell you guys okay now the reason why it's so full of everything right here is because I, your girl, layered it. So I did layer it on this one particular side, like right here, so that way it can give it some, you know, some height and volume and make it look more voluptuous than what it already is, girl, you know. I had to hook it up. But I love the color of it. Like, it's a very pretty color. Very, very pretty color. The only thing that I'm really concerned about is the lace. Like, I don't really like the color of the lace itself, so it's not, like, really blended in for me like that. So I have to, like put like a bunch of makeup on it to make it not a bunch but I had to put on enough I don't really want my wigs to look like I have one makeup you know what I mean because then that just defeats the whole purpose so I'm gonna have to figure something out with this wig so that way I don't have to put makeup on it because I really do like this color a lot and this length it's 20 inches the color is really pretty like they did a bomb bomb ass job with the color I just am not too keen on the lace when you go outside in the light then you know like when i be driving i'll look in the mirror and that's when you could see it like really really see it so that's like the one thing that i'm trying to avoid goodness and then it's wet so these nails are good for something girl they will scrape out the skin like, I think, like, this side came out better looking than this particular side. But for the most part, it's just the lace that's bothering me. Like, I don't really want nobody to know I got a wig on. So I'm trying to see. I know what I'm going to do. This is what you can do to hide the lace right there. I'm going to take my toothbrush. I don't want it to lay down, though. So you just want the root to lay down. And then sometimes I'll take the comb. Well, I hope I'm not blurry to you guys. Now this is definitely more baby hairs than I would ever wear. I don't really like a lot of baby hairs, but I'm just really trying to keep the wig on for today at least, because I have to run out the house real quick, at least for right now until this evening. And I don't really want it to go out and look like, oh, you can see my lace. You know what I mean? Like I was saying, it's just the lace, and you could just use like a lace tinting spray if it'll help. I got a bunch of them, so I'm going to try and see what it looks like when I take it off this evening. But it was 20 inches. I put some um, curls in it and layers in it, and that was about it. The color was so appealing to me when I seen it on the website, and I know that they do really well with their colored wigs, so I figured... Well, you know, from the first experience. So I figured I would give this one a try. And I really do like this color a lot. I just wish they would have just used a different color lace. You know, that would have been perfect. But this color is bomb as hell. Okay, hello. Looking all cute and fancy. Really cute. So, you guys, let me know what you think of this color. She's really pretty, though. The color is gorgeous. But if she worked out really cute, for real, she did. Like, oh, hold up. Now, even if I don't wear her too full, because, you know, it's just like a regular day. I don't want to be too glamorous like I always am. Um, You know. 
you know, she looked really cute. Let me just take another picture for you guys because I know y'all want to see. Hello. Yes, you guys. So on that note, I will leave all of the information down below. You know I got to go. But on that note, I will see you guys in another video. Y'all didn't know I could run. I did out. Never leave my body alone.